Yeah, I was responsible for the enlisted personnel in the weapons section. Personally, I scrambled uh, all the jets and oversaw the scramble uh, to the weapons teams uh, that were sitting that day. The initial call was uh, very calm. You know, this was uh, so-and-so from Boston. We have a possible hijack. Can you scramble a couple F-16s for me? We we're in the middle of an exercise. So the first thought in my mind is, this is an exercise input. I just weapon, Sergeant Powell. Hi, Boston Center Team U. We have a, a problem here. We have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New, New York, and we need you guys to, we need someone to scramble some F-16s or something to help us out. Is this, is this real world or exercise? No, this is not an exercise, not a test. Okay, hey, uh, hold on one second, okay? Yep. Hey, 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 here's the time. I mean, we immediately started scrambling. First, the F 15s from Otis, the F 16s from Langley. Uh, there was really no time to think about anything else except doing the job, getting the next set of aircraft, you know, airborne. This is Huntress placing Panta 4546 on battle stations. I repeat, battle stations. Time 1 2. I didn't know the outcome of that day. I, I didn't know what it was going to be like, you know, 20 years. I just knew at that moment what my job was and what I needed to do. And that's what everybody else was doing too. We were in the zone. There was no crying, there was no running around, yelling, screaming. It was professionals doing a professional job.